welcome back to Might and Magic 2 Gates to Another World. You're going to continue here and try and get promoted. Try and get enough experience so we can get promoted. I think one more time with the uh, the Battle of Green Bishop and we shall have enough to promote the party to level 8. Yes, a Yep, I'll buy another key from the locksmith. And yes, D F F F Yep Easier to freaking rest, wouldn't it? And getting healed. Oh, Doug Trainees, huh? I just read this. Taking my freaking money. Out.
Dad, joke of the day. Why are there only 20 hours in an orc day? Ever see an orc with 24 fingers and toes? Oh, funny. Yep. Okay, now about releasing these bishops. And I'm going to go through what the clue book tells you. Next come the four colored keys. Green, yellow, red, and black. A blacksmith selling one type of key can be found in each town. Save Tundra, which has none. In each of the four major castles, Hillstone, Pinehurst, and Woodhaven, and as well as Lux's Palace Royale, there resists a bishop of similar color to each key. So we have a, a green key that releases the bishop of green battle, and we have a yellow key that releases the bishop of yellow battle and we have a red key that releases the bishop of red battle and we have a black key that releases the bishop of black battle so there, there's there's four colored keys and four and four colored bishops however greater rewards can be reaped if for each color the party first wins battles in each one of the three combat arenas for example a party which has obtained a green key then proceeds to fight green ticket battles in in the arena monster bowl and coliseum they then free the bishop of green battle from his incarceration and receive a hero's reward find the bishops as follows so let's say you obtain a a yellow key and then you uh, proceed to fight yellow ticket battles in the arena monster bowl and coliseum then you then you will then free the bishop of yellow battle from his incarceration then you receive a hero's reward for the uh bishop of yellow battle and you can do the same thing with all uh, the rest of the bishops so that's how you uh, get a uh, triple crown win like we did here. We, we got the green key. We fought uh, three green ticket battles in each of the uh, arenas. And then we released the uh, bishop. And now we can uh, receive the experience for the uh, green ticket battles that we uh, fought. That's how you uh, release the bishops. Of course, you can buy a, a, a certain color key, like a green key, and go and release the green bishop, but you only get 3,000 experience points. Yeah, you can uh, buy a yellow key and go release the bishop of yellow battle, but you only get the points for releasing him. You don't get the points for the uh, triple crown victory. That's your... Uh, bishops of four colors and this is where the bishops are the bishop of green battle is in castle woodhaven at 10 6 the bishop of yellow battle is in castle pinehurst at 13 3 the bishop of red battle is in castle hillstone at 11 4 the bishop of black battle is in the luxurious palace royale at 14 14. the only bishop that really needs a release in order to win the game is the bishop of black battle you have to uh obtain the black key and release the, the bishop of black battle and win black ticket battles in each of the three arenas to, to gain a uh, yeah, a triple crown victory with the uh, black tickets. That's required of you in order to win, to win the game. Along with getting your pluses from Mount Fairview. And you get your plus from Mount Fairview. You have to uh, complete your uh, class promotions.
Go see how much they need to train. was that place at? Now. Yes. Oh, 2,000. Good grief. We're going to have to... 2,000 apiece. We're gonna have to earn some gold to train. So this is Gamer Lawn signing out saying stay tuned for more of Might and Magic 2 Gates to Another World and thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.